In the center of mass frame, where the center of mass of the system is taken to be the origin, the point mass and the center of the ring are equidistant from the origin at all times. Since the point mass travels on the inner surface of the ring, the point mass and the center of the ring is at a constant or distance from each other at all times. This system of equations can be reduced by simple substitution. It turns out that each object stays at a constant one half or distance from the origin. This means both objects rotate around the center of mass of the system in the center of mass frame. Therefore, the point mass and the center of the ring move on the same circle with a common angular velocity. Since there is no external force and the normal force on the point mass does not do any work, mechanical energy is conserved. The energy of the system due to rotation depends on the combined rotational inertia and the common angular speed. Because of the symmetry around the rotation axis, rotational inertia stays constant. Therefore, angular velocity must stay constant too. Initial angular speed may be found by noting that the center of mass frame moves half the original speed v. Therefore, center of mass frame speed of the objects are v over 2. One period of the rotation will put the point mass back to its initial position, which can be calculated directly using the found angular speed value. In the lab frame, there is also translation. Here is how it looks there. Thank you for watching. Visit starleague.us for Physics Olympiad summer camps and courses.